All right, this is something real cool. This uh, Samson Dex app, Samson Dex app. I just discovered it not too long ago. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Real cool app. Check this out. All right, first, what you wanna do is open up a browser. already have one opened up and we're going to uh, navigate to Samsung well just put Samsung Dex in the URL I'm not quite sure what the URL is but yeah Google's gonna take us right to it Depending on what operating system you're uh, using, you're going to uh, click that one. In my case, I'm using a Windows 10, so I'm going to click that. Uh, you can put it in the uh, <clears throat> directory you uh, so choose. It's preferable to... Um, install it from the uh, root directory so and, uh, show folder why downloaded it at it's downloaded my uh, downloads folder but I'm going to uh, copy it over to my root directory my C drive drivers and so this won't get too crowded after you install it you can uh you know delete it after now what you do is just right click i like to uh run all my um executables as administrator just to uh, eliminate all you know all possible um kinks you know all right now once we got the uh, <clears throat> software installed you want to go to your phone and connect your cable well connect the cable to the computer and connect the other end to your phone like so all right <clears throat> Okay, once you have the cable connected, go to the software, click on that, and then that should pop up. Once that pops up, you want to see a you want to see a notification on your phone that looks like that. See that? You want to hit start now. Hit start now on your phone. And the DEX environment pops up. Now these are all my apps that I have installed on my phone. This is real cool. I can uh, I can click my Simply Safe app, view my cameras, because you know sometimes viewing the cameras from a phone screen could be kind of uh, tedious because it's so small. Now I gotta. Uh, bigger picture to view. This is my uh, dining area and this is my den where I'm at right now. I can go on Facebook, Twitter, type stuff, retweet, 
What's happening? I feel good. Let me just tweak that. I do feel good. As you can see, it tweeted. Right there. That body yaddy 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 let me get back to the lesson, my bad. Sometimes you just get distracted on Twitter. Twitter is like uh addictive sometimes. That Jay? Okay. What they trying to say. Let me get it out of there. Alright, close this out. We go through the navigations. Oh, to uh, minimize this, you um, point the point the mouse to the top of the screen, and this uh, this screen look at this bar fall out. This is the uh, the settings. You could uh, set it to auto start once you uh, connect the cable. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that because that's the most uh, convenient for me. You can choose the, uh, you know, notifications, flash the Samsung Dex icon on your computer whenever you receive a notification on your phone. Keep the screen on when Dex is running, you know, all kind of, uh, all kind of settings. Update to the most, uh, updated version. I, I already have the latest version updated, so you get up out of there. You can minimize it. Uh, that's me when I was young. You can uh, make the screen smaller right there. You can actually open up multiple apps at the same time. You can pin the app to the, uh, well, it's not working with this one for some reason, but say if I uh, change the size, you can automatically size it like that to the side. It's not working for YouTube for some reason. Okay, all right, now it's working. So now you can have both apps equally on the screen it's my YouTube it's my Twitter what's that oh wow people Tom uh, wow people Tom cameras it's pretty spooky Anyway, you can minimize that. You keep the uh, you can have the uh, it shows all your open apps down here at the bottom. That's all your recent apps. That's the home screen. That's the back button, and that's all your apps right there. You can choose that to exit Dex. You can lock your phone through this. Then I'll have to, uh, you know, unlock it back. I'm not going to show you my unlock. So uh, I'm going to pause this and unlock my phone and uh, start it back up again. All right, back, in ginger, back again. Just had to unlock my phone. Excuse that. Excuse me there. Yeah, it's basically, you know, self-explanatory, you know. I access all these apps. You just gotta play with it. Oh, these are all the uh, all my notifications down here. Oh, this is a screenshot feature right there. That's the volume right there. That's the keyboard. You know, if you wanna mess with the keyboard here, and uh, that's these are all my notifications. These are the notifications that basically you can access when you uh, swipe down on your phone. 
So these are all the stuff that come up. It's my uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi status and uh, battery status and all that stuff in the time. Quick settings. Click on that to bring up the quick settings. This is another. Uh, this is another um, area you can access straight from your phone by swiping down. But this is how you access it through the through the Dex app. This is on my phone right here. This is the, actually the uh, the phone environment, the settings app on the phone. Actually, basically. There's you know many different ways to access different apps from this uh, application. Many different ways to access different phone apps from from the Dex application. Especially many different ways to access the uh, the settings feature from the Dex application and from the phone. So that's basically it. You just gotta play with it, you know. And uh, this is the uh, the desktop, basically, desktop environment. Just uh, default apps that show up on the desktop. All right. Like the video, share. Thanks for watching.